Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, make sure you hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different, and I'm going to show you guys how I make my um, video thumbnails. So, I, I feel like every YouTuber I talk to, they do it in such a different way, um, but I feel like mine is probably so much simpler than getting on your computer and photoshopping and doing all this stuff with these expensive programs. So my way is completely free and it's so easy. Like it's so quick. So yeah, let's get into it. We're going to make a farm mail together. So it's going to be the video I just filmed before this and it's going to be my July Bella Box unboxing. It's a very simple thumbnail to make. I make them obviously every month, but yeah, it's, I just, I can't believe people go to the effort of actually using, doing thumbnails on their computer with Photoshop and like, I get it. Like you want to make your thumbnail interesting because you want people to click on your video. Um, but I'm still, I, I'm not, I would say I'm starting out on YouTube. I've been in YouTube for a couple of years now, but I'm obviously not like I'm a large channel. I'm not monetized or anything. And I guess you could say, why do you think that your thumbnails work if you're not getting views? Um, that's because <laughs> I have two jobs and I don't have time, but also I'm, I try to keep them simple. I'm not too of a flashy person. So if you're interested in simple and easy thumbnails to make, this is definitely the video for you. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a selfie on Snapchat. Who has Snapchat? I think a lot of us have Snapchat. If you don't, just go download it just to use it for the camera. The reason I use Snapchat and not just take a picture on my phone with the camera like every other person is because of the size that the picture comes out. I feel like on the iPhone, it doesn't take up the whole screen. It only takes... It only cuts the edges off so it's not the size of the whole screen and that's what I'm looking for is that size of the image to make it perfect for when you sit it into download it on to YouTube um, when I do it with my camera on my phone the picture is not wide enough so in order to get the width for the picture and to use the exact size I need Doing it on Snapchat, I know the picture quality isn't as great, but again, we're just beginners here. So I feel like I've mastered it with the Snapchat camera. Um, the size comes out exactly as I need. So go ahead and take a selfie on your Snapchat. And if you are familiar with Snapchat, you can click down the bottom to save the picture to your camera roll. Once you've done that, if you go in with Facetune or whatever, I just, I go in with some filters and things like that, you know, add some emojis to your picture, add text to your picture if that's what you'd like to do. Um, so I just took a picture on Snapchat. I saved it down the bottom. So it's now in my camera roll. So what you're going to need to do is now next, if you don't have it already, download an app. It's called Thumbnail Maker. I know it's a lot of apps, but Again, we're beginners here. We don't need to have fancy editing software. So I didn't realize, but I go into the app and it's not available in Australia. Um, but anyway, it's called Thumbnail Maker and Banner Maker. And that's basically the image there. I must have downloaded it while it was still available in Australia. I did not realize. But any Thumbnail Maker like app, I'm sure will work. So for those of you who can get this app. Um, we'll go into the app. It's a free one, so there's gonna be ads. It's gonna ask you, you know, if you want more features, download. So basically, we will go and click onto camera. And then you find the photo that you like. You've saved it into your thumbnail. There we go. I'm gonna select thumbnail instead of banner. And we're gonna go done. And then we can edit the picture. So I'm just going to add um, some pictures with um, out the backgrounds and I'm going to put some text and that's pretty much all I really use it for. Um, it's not really great in terms of adding emojis or anything. That's what you would do while you're still in Snapchat. If there's anything on there that you wanted to add, any of the stickers or the fonts or the filters or anything like that, that's where you would do that there. But here we're just going to add text and then we're also going to add pictures. So for this, I'm going to add Bella Box's logo. So what I did was I just jumped on Google and I typed in Bella Box logo transparent, 
save the image to my camera roll on my phone. So then we're going to go into this icon right here where you can add pictures on and I'm just going to find them in my phone. So I've selected that brand logo. Just stretch it out a bit. See, it's right there. And I'm just going to position it and size it exactly where I want it on the picture. There we go. Click the tick. It's done. Look at that. Like a professional on a computer, right? So I'm going to add another logo. I have another Bellabox logo. I'm just going to chuck that one in. I have a bunch of brand logos when I do videos. So I'm just going to position that where I want it, size it out a bit and click the tick. It's all good. Easy as. Then I'm going to add some text. So see the little A? I'm just going to click that and I can just type whatever I want. So I'm going to put the month and year, which is July 2019. So I want to keep it white, but you can change the color with this little circle icon. Um, but I'm going to also change the font with the capital A and the smaller A. So we go, we can pick a font. I'm just going to go with Babus Light and tick yes I like that done and then you can resize it and move it around on the screen and then just gonna click out of that all done there we go perfect thumbnail well it's pretty simple just save your logos or anything like that into your phone just make sure you get the transparent backgrounds I know it's not always easy to find um, and then you can just add whatever text you'd like um, you can also add accents and all things they have there's not a lot on the free one but if you were to really be invested in this particular app I'm sure you know you can pay for the extras or again just go in on snapchat and do what you need to do there so then I'm going to click share and it's going to save it to my um, camera roll on my phone. So something you do, I do, is that because it's a free picture, it does have a watermark. There is a watermark at the bottom saying made with thumbnail maker. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to crop this picture um, and crop it out. So just going to reset it so it's all equal. Then I'm going to move the bottom bar just slightly up just to get rid of that logo pictures cropped unfortunately this does mean the sizing of the picture isn't exact if you were to just do it on snapchat it would be completely fine you wouldn't need to change the sizing um but for this one it's going to be slightly too long so that's why i tried to make that on one of the edges it's there's a little bit of space that doesn't matter if it's cut out so that's why I kind of left some space next to my face so that if that does get cut out, it's still going to be a really good thumbnail and I'm not cutting things out. And that's the thing that was bugging me about just using the regular camera on here was because I had to have to cut things out. I have to zoom in really hard and then it just, it, it, the sizing was just too messy and difficult. But the, snaps, the Snapchat sizing is just perfect. So yeah. Then to upload the um, image, I just use the YouTube Studio app. If you've got a YouTube account, you just download this um, YouTube Studio app, YT Studio, I think it's on my phone. Um, then you um, you can select your video um, and then um, you can, there's a way to edit it. So this is the last month's Bella Box. So there's a little pencil. You just click the pencil. And once it's loaded, you can click edit thumbnail and that's where you can upload it from your camera roll on your phone. So yeah, that's basically what I do for my thumbnails in a nutshell. Um, if you can't get that particular thumbnail maker app, because it's suddenly not available in Australia. If you happen to be from Australia, I'm really sorry. Um, I must have downloaded it just before or something, but I still can update my app. So I don't know what's going on with that. But if you can find a similar thumbnail maker app, I'm sure that would really work well. If not, just go ahead and Snapchat. I don't know that's, that sounds like, dude, that's just so obvious, but you know, I do like this app just because I love to add logos like the Bellabox logo or logos from other brands. Um, 
and adding the text. Um, but apart from that, you can do that with your Snapchat. You can add text, you can add emojis. The only thing you can't do is add logos or other things that you've downloaded off of Google onto your phone or you've saved the image. Um, just make sure that you double check that it is a transparent background because otherwise you're just gonna have white squares all over your thumbnail. And like, I'm, I feel like I'm a tiny bit more professional than that. So yeah, that is my super easy way to create a thumbnail for beginners. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful to you. You've learned something, even if it was just as simple as, oh, the Snapchat sizing of the picture works and I can add emojis. That's, I've not done thumbnails any other way. Um, I just don't know how to use that computer stuff and I don't have time or energy to learn it, especially when this is so easy and it fulfills all the requirements that I have. So yeah. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.